Hello, Jared here, and I'm back! <laughs> it has been a very long time, I believe eight months since my last update. And boy howdy, have there been a lot of updates. Uh, I'm actually very excited to make this video today. Uh, there are, as you saw from the YouTube thumbnail, very big announcements, and I have multiple of them. So I can't wait to get this video started, but uh, this is definitely one of the more highlighted videos. And let's just jump right off. So first off, uh, I just wanted to say that I had my first debut at my first real life convention at Anthrocon 2022 in Pittsburgh, uh, which had been delayed for the last two years because of COVID, yay. <laughs> but I finally got the opportunity, I was really excited. I'm going to go ahead and throw up some pictures here that shows the booth. Uh, I ended up having two tables at my booth. I was normally going to be a table and a half, and I realized they track all the tables that you have, uh, but since there was an extra four feet next to me that hadn't been claimed, I was able to get it 50% off, so it was like 50 bucks for an extra four feet. And I'm like, cool, and I needed it, so I just put the banner on it, and it was perfect. So I'm, two tables was just right for the amount that I had because I had a lot of bulky canvases and, and everything. But uh, my brother-in-law, who also did some editing and some writing on the first book for me, was my booth buddy. Uh, he was very supportive and uh, helped me a great deal. I, <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without him. But uh, it was a great success. Uh, I sold, I see, I had 50 initial con books printed. That was not cheap, unfortunately, because I had to do that. Uh, but I sold 43 out of 50 books and that was a pretty good success in my opinion. And I sold two canvases, uh, very, very expensive canvases. And I sold a handful of prints and uh, I think a couple other things, but it, it went really well. Um, and, uh, I had a lot of great people that I met and I even made like one super fan. <laughs> it was pretty cool. They had a lot of really good questions that really made me think about my world and my comic. I'm like, Hey, I've never thought of that. And, uh, but it, it was a great time. Um, I'm glad I did it. It's like I can check it off my bucket list. Uh, people have been asking me if I was going to be an MFF in December. I am still deciding on it. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in my life right now that might prohibit that uh, time or financial reasons. But I'm not going to get into that in this video. But 2022 has been a roller coaster for me, folks. And uh, I'm just telling you about the good parts right now. <laughs> but uh, it's it's mostly good. It's mostly good. This video is really good. Um, you're going to find that out in just a second here. But I just wanted to kick that off with Anthrocon. So for those that remember my Update 11 video, I had mentioned that I had some exciting opportunities to explore, uh, which was a huge reason why I was doing early access for Kashmir Sky on Patreon, uh, which by the way is still available. Uh, you can still read Volume 2, that's been ongoing. But uh, it's been about eight months, um, a lot of things have been happening behind the scenes, and I'll just get right to it. Kashmir Sky is officially getting published. <laughs> Crowd goes wild! Ah! Um, yes, it has been a long road getting here. Uh, I actually I applied to a handful of publishers, maybe about, maybe about a dozen. And a good friend of mine, really good counsel, who has a lot of experience in the publishing industry, not with books, but with like video games and music, uh, really helped me along the ride uh, with negotiations. Um, I had a couple bites. Um, I actually went through a couple negotiation processes, but the first one fizzled out pretty hard. Uh, and then the second one was actually a recommendation from a friend, and I gave them a go. And I, I checked them out, and I sent in my submission packet, and they got back with me and said they'd be happy to publish me, and they, they enjoyed what they read. And I, I sent them Volume 2 material. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was a pretty big thing. And then from that point, we went through about two to three months of negotiations, and I got what I believe is a pretty fair contract, and it is now official. Uh, everything is signed, and Kashmir Sky Volume 1 and 2 will be in print and will be available to order and purchase, either at conventions or online, including digital copies. So I'm very pleased to say that. I'm very happy to, to, to finally get that off my chest because I, I can't say anything until I know the shot. So I just, I couldn't prematurely say too much. 
And the publishing company that I'm currently with is Fenris Publishing, uh, which is fenrispublishing.com. And they currently publish other comics such as Foxes in Love and Awu, if you've heard of those. And they do a bunch of distribution as well. I've seen Agretzico and B Stars and a, a few other comics on it. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm getting published with them. It's a great honor, and I can't wait to work with them. And that now leads me on to my next big piece of news. So, as you keep hearing me say, I was talking about the whole early access and exciting opportunities and all this, yada, 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 uh, with the comic. And right now, for the past eight months, it has been Patreon only, and part of that was just because I was searching for publishers. Uh, but as far as everything that's been negotiated in the contract and what has been shown, uh, they have no problem letting me post it online. So I guess what I'm getting at is Cashmere Sky Volume 2 is in the very short term going to be going public and you will be able to read Volume 2 on CashmereSky.com as well as a few other outlets that I post on. I believe I also post it on Fur Affinity and DeviantArt, uh, but the website is the best place to read it in my opinion. Uh, but yes, Volume 2 is coming public. However, if you are a current Patreon supporter, don't worry. You are still going to be eight to nine months of he ahead of the public. So they're they're only going to get like the first five pages and then be one page a week. So if you want to get about 40 pages ahead you, for a dollar a month, you can go to Patreon and get 40 pages ahead. Uh, among a lot of other things, uh, such as just behind the scenes art and like private updates and anything like that. So... So no worries if you still support me on Patreon. Um, you're still getting more than what the public's getting, but I know there's a lot of people that are going to be happy that Volume 2 is finally available to read, and I'm glad to bring it. I'm, I'm glad that I'll be able to get more eyeballs on this thing, so I'm very pleased and happy to say that. So I also have another update. God, they just keep coming, don't they? Uh, I decided to revisit the website a little bit. I don't usually work on the website too much. I try to leave it alone. But uh, I did a little bit of restructuring and I added a brand new section on the website. Uh, for one, the blog, the, the dedicated blog page is actually gone now. I've put it on the front page and I put this little like animated arrow telling you to scroll down. So when you go there, it still looks like the same home page, but just scroll down and there's the blog. So it's just moved. That's all. It's still there. And it's probably better. <laughs> actually, I know it's better for SEO and I probably should have done that a long time ago. But I digress. Uh, the new section that I added was the media section. And this took me a long time to convince myself that I wanted to do it. Uh, as far as adding some like key videos, like the updates that I post, that wasn't too much of an, an issue for me. Um, I, I like to kind of keep everything as a hub on the website so you don't ha have to keep branching out to all the social medias to find other aspects of the comic. Uh, now, as far as the YouTube channel, there are a lot of things, a lot of videos on here that I don't have on the website. I'm just putting like the key stuff. Like I have like a custom curated playlist uh, that auto updates when I when I upload it. This video alone should be on there. Uh, but that's the easy part. The one that was hard for me was putting up the art gallery. And let me just say this, folks. Uh, it's definitely not because I'm trying to show off. <laughs> the main reason is because I was cringing so hard at some of the art that I was going to choose to show. Because what the art gallery is about is showing the genesis of this project and the art evolution from 2014 all the way up to last year. And I'll, I'll eventually add 2022. But you can see like key parts uh, that I was doing from the moment I conceived this project. And oh my God, there's so much that I look at and I'm just like biting my lip. I'm going, oh God, I can't look at it. Like I'm artists are, are their own worst critic. I mean, that's just a fact of life. And so for me to judge myself that hard is completely normal. <laughs> it's natural, but it was very difficult for me to, to put it online, but I did it for your enjoyment because I know that a lot of people love seeing art evolution and how a project grows. And I personally can attest to that. Like I've seen other artists do that and I enjoy seeing that. Um, but I will also say there were some things that never, never got off the cutting room floor. I, I still rejected some drawings that I was like, that's not going on the website. It was just too much. Like, it was just like, 
eyes bleeding looking at it. I couldn't do it. So, uh, but there's definitely some things in there where I look at it and I'm just like, mm, like just bad anatomy, bad perspective, like oversaturated color, maybe poor composition, like, but it's all part of the process. It's part of the learning. Like, like I said earlier, uh, a fan of mine was asking me about the world. Like, what about this? What about that? It's like, there's so many questions that I don't know the answers to yet because I'm still learning about Ion Valley as I'm writing for it. And I'm basically finding out new parts when I need it in the story. So, I mean, otherwise I would go down a rabbit hole and I would never come out. So, <laughs> uh, there's a lot that I'm learning even all the way up to last year. But uh, uh, it's there for your enjoyment, and I hope you guys get something out of it. But be gentle with the judgments, <laughs> because it's really hard for me to look at. Um, the, there will be one extra section that goes up later on. Uh, I will add a store link. Uh, for anything that's going to be books, obviously it's going to link to Fenris Publishing. Uh, as far as merchandise, it might also link to that. Uh, but look forward to that maybe later this year. Um, at the earliest, uh, definitely next year. Uh, but, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the evolution of the website. Okay. So now we're past the really big update. So let's get a little more comic focused, shall we? <laughs> uh, this speed paint you're seeing, I actually literally did last night. Uh, I actually needed more material for speed paint stuff for this video in particular, because I didn't really have any updated content. I have a Picardo streaming account, and usually I had a premium account, but I canceled it uh, about six months ago, and I don't get the auto recordings of my streams anymore, so I couldn't just go in there and pick something, and like the last latest stream I had was from Project Update 11, like that painting I did, and I was like, oh, I, I need something new, uh, so this is actually... Again, I don't know if I just said this, uh, it's a Patreon commission. Uh, they asked me, they wanted Enzo uh, to be tech support, like like fixing a TV or something. And uh, I definitely know that life. I know every time I go over to family, uh, they always ask me, hey, I can't, my computer's wrong. It's not working, blah, blah, blah. So I know the life. And of course, you have probably what you would assume is Arlo off to the side. Um, I eventually have it in the video here that... He wants Enzo to try to get him more channels because Enzo's just really smart, right? He knows how to do that, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, this was a fun little piece. Um, I enjoyed doing it. And uh, yeah, you can just watch that throughout the end of the video. And last but not least, I can't believe it took this long to get to this point, but as tradition, I always post what I've been working on. And considering there have been so many months that have gone by since... Uh, I had my last update. I'll throw up just a few more slides than I normally do. I usually give you four. I'll go ahead and give you eight. How about that? Because the amount of time that has happened between this is ridiculous. But just as a project update, I have 78 pages done. And uh, I just finished that 78 this week of the recording. That's why I do these recordings. They're usually in between scenes that I, I finish. Uh, as far as my next scene, it was actually something that I added to the script about a good six months. No, no, about a year after I thought that the script was complete. And I realized I needed a really important scene in between two other scenes that explained and showed more about Holly and Holly's relationship with Arlo. Uh, because I realized I wasn't establishing that enough. And... Uh, I wanted to show a little bit more of her character, and um, dare I even use this, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but there's going to be a flashback, and uh, we get to see a part of the world that we've never seen before, and there's going to be some people that are alive again. Uh-oh, <laughs> what could I be talking about? Uh, but it's it's a good scene, um, I had a lot of fun and writing it however the problem is it's a huge scene and I can see myself working on this till past Halloween of this year this is going to be at least three months of work maybe four so I'm a little nervous about it there's some uh, really big set pieces that I'm going to have to draw and I, I have to figure out how I'm going to do that but I think it's going to help the book it's going to help the story and it's going to help the characters so it's kind of a must-have addition to the story so can't wait to do it can't wait for you to read it but uh, that's that. 
Wow, that was a lot of updates. So if you're still here, thank you for hanging in there this long. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a bunch of links down below for the publisher, website, Patreon, you know, the usuals. And other than that, uh, I thank you guys for all your support. A heartfelt thank you to everyone I met at Anthrocon and all my Patreon supporters. You guys have been great. And I guess other than that... Comment, like, subscribe, smash the like button. <laughs> I hate those YouTube bros so much. I can never keep a straight face when I do this at all. I'm I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. I, I can't do it like that anymore. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.